Simple tips for keeping yourself safe as an equine body worker. So the first thing that I always start with before I ever put a hand on a horse is doing a visual exam. Now, when we look at this mare, she's got her hind foot cocked. She's sleeping. Um, you know, we go to look at her face. She's got a nice relaxed eye. She has no tension in her jaw. She has a nice relaxed ear. She's probably not gonna pose much of a threat to me. But as I approach her, I still don't wanna immediately go to her head because if I come into her space, most horses, you're gonna see them really raise their head up and kind of look at you and spook. Now, you know, as this being my own horse, she's not gonna be quite as scared of me, but I always try to approach the center point of our horse, which is right behind our withers, because this is a nice neutral point. When you watch horses in the wild, whenever a horse approaches another horse, they're not gonna go directly and get in their space right at their head. They're gonna walk back here to the central point, and this is gonna be our neutral area of approach. So as I'm approaching from here, this horse feels safe because they can use their hind end if they have to um, push me away. They can use their front end if they need to turn and nip at me. They feel safe because I'm at a neutral point and they're at a point of power. And even though our goal is not to get in a fight with a horse, when you walk up to a horse that has ulcers or is in a lot of pain, they're not going to react like this horse here. She's just nice, enjoying my time, enjoying me being in her space because she's used to me and there's an element of trust there. So when you take a horse that has no trust or doesn't, doesn't know you and you approach right here at their head, they're typically going to step back away from you. So start at your central point and then work your treatment um, or your body work session. Go from there and decide what's gonna be best for that horse based on their reaction. Simple tips to keep you safe as an equine body worker. So when we're gonna go do a hind end stretch, I'm gonna always reach with my left hand. So you will notice I almost always keep contact with this horse, especially if I have my back towards the head of the horse because if she, if she goes to turn and nip or bite at me, I'm going to feel it in my forearm. I'm going to feel these muscles contract as she's moving, and I'm going to know to turn and look at her. Um, it also gives me a, an escape. If I have a horse that I'm working with that's complicated, that's going to kick, or it's going to act aggressive, I can, I can push away. And, and I've always got a direction to freedom. Um, and sometimes it's not even that the horse is mean or that the horse is acting aggressive because of pain, sometimes it's simply that I'm working on a horse that's had EPM or something neurologic, and the horse doesn't have enough balance, and I ha may have to escape if that horse is losing their balance and I'm afraid they're gonna fall on me. So as I go to pick up this hind foot, I'm gonna reach, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep contact with her, and then I'm gonna reach down with my inside hand to ask her to pick this leg up and bring it forward. And the reason being is like, okay, now I've got my shoulder, so now I've got my arm free to pick the leg up and I have contact with my shoulder. So then I'm gonna reach down her leg, ask her to pick this leg up to come into this stretch, just like this. All right, I'm gonna let her relax, let her sink into that stretch. So now, the reason I don't reach with my right hand, even though that's my dominant hand, look at the position. If I reach with my right hand, look at the position that it puts my head in. So if I reach like this, I'm under this horse. So she comes forward and paws. She can catch me in the face. She can catch me in the leg. And also, if I get in a storm with her, to, for me to get out of here to safety, I've got to be able to get away and then push away from this horse where when I pick up with my left hand being on the inside, again, I've got my contact now with my shoulder. I'm asking her to bring this leg forward. I still have contact here with my shoulder. As I'm bringing this leg forward into the stretch, I've got my feet wide, but if I need to get away from her, all I've got to do is drop this leg and I turn, and the worst she can do is catch me in the back or in the back of the legs. 
which is going to be the much stronger part of my body to take a hit versus my face or my front. Tips for keeping you safe as an equine body worker, part two. So we talked about, in the first video, we talked about the how to pick the leg up. And so now I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna reach for the leg just like this. I'm gonna bring her forward into this stretch with my legs, my feet apart so she doesn't get on my toes. Now, one thing that I teach a little different than a lot of people is a lot of, this, of the stretches you will see and their instruction will be to put the fingers underneath the front of the toe. The reason I don't do this is because if she slams her foot down, she can pull me down with her. And it's gonna be very hard with the weight of a horse on your fingers, it's gonna be very hard for you to get your body to turn loose. So if I've got my foot or my fingers there and she drops his foot down, I could come with her and end up underneath her, which is what we don't want. So here's how my hold, my hold is a little bit different. So I'm gonna pick the leg up and I come to the side. So, and then whenever I bring that leg forward, I've got the back of the hawk. So I'm not putting any more pressure. I'm not lifting up, I'm not lifting to the inside. I'm still bringing the leg forward, but I keep myself at a little safer spot because if I need to just let go and drop her leg, I can do that. And I'm not gonna get pulled underneath her. So one more time here on this halt. Keep my hand on the inside, bring that leg forward into the stretch. I'll drop to the ankle if I need her to take her weight back a little bit. And that's a safe, a good safe stretch. Now, if I, if I try to do the other way, it's hard because now I'm pulling out on this leg and I haven't given myself away. So if I have to drop this leg and get away from her, now I have to drop the leg and I have to try to turn to get away where when I, have, when I have my holt on the inside and I have to drop the leg, I'm already pointed in the direction away from the danger. Good girl. Good. Simple tips to keep you safe as an equine body worker when you're doing stretches. So if I'm gonna bring this leg forward and I'm gonna let her kind of just sink into this stretch, a lot of people teach to have um, this platform underneath the toe right here. Works okay if you have shoes on the horse, but the problem is if she goes to slam her foot down, I may lose my balance and come down with her. It's very hard if you've got a lot of weight just on the ends of your fingers to be able to open your hand and release. So I do my hand hold more so from the side right here. And then my second hand will either go on the ankle and that way if she dumps her weight on me, I can ask her to take it back or I'll put my second hand hold up here on the knee and ask her to take her weight back if I need to. So I'm not putting, I've got her joints supported as I bring her forward in the stretch. I've got my feet wide in case she does slam her foot down but you'll also notice like I'm not forcing her into this stretch. I'm just holding, my hands are nice and relaxed. I'm not even pulling. I'm just holding on to her, letting her kind of ease into this stretch. But the good news is if I need to drop her leg and step away, I can do that. She's not gonna drag me down and end up pulling me into her. Because what I don't want to happen is a horse that starts to strain and then my head comes forward and then as they paw, my head is right here to be hit in the face. So I wanna stay back to safety and I wanna have a good hand hold that I can have a nice release if I get in a bind with one. 